look at the paragraph um, part of the home ribbon and as you can see this is the paragraph here uh, before I get into the paragraph though I would like to co show you a couple of things um, first of all if you'll notice down here we have a zoom out and a zoom in and so I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that we can see our whole page here okay and then we also have various views so currently we're in print layout we could also go to full screen re full screen reading web layout outline or draft okay this tells you the number of words this tells you what page we're on and we have no proofing errors and no macros are currently recording okay so here's the paragraph and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type some text here copy this quick and then just keep pasting so now we have some text in several lines and so I'm going to select that text and as you can see up here we have bullets we have numbered bullets like if you were doing an outline here's regular bullets and these are the symbols and you can define and add bullets um, there's a multi-level list if you were doing an outline for a term paper and we can indent we can sort our text but we're not going to do that right now we can show and hide our codes and these are just the codes that tell you what's going on. For example, this is a return code so that it makes a new line. Uh, down here we have, of course, our lines. Left, middle, right, and justified. Uh, we also have our line spacing. If I want to go 2.5, 1.15, and so on. We also have shading. This would be the background behind this paragraph of text. Or we can also put in a border. And you can see we can do all kinds of stuff with a border. Now if we wanted to also, we can click here and go into the paragraph dialog box and edit each of these individually. Down here it will show you what the line spacing looks like, for example. and there's line and page breaks uh, widow and orphan refers to when you're typing and uh, a word moves on to the next page that would be an orphan okay so we want to try to keep those together so that when you're doing a paper or typing something you don't end up with one page two pages one page full of text and then the next page just one word okay so uh, that's it for the paragraph section, and we'll be moving on next time to styles.